Good morning and happy Sunday. I've got something a little bit different for you today. Um, so we are off wild garlic picking. I do this every year, or rather Sam and I do this every year. And then I make wild garlic pesto, which I will show you the process later on. Um, it's a little bit different. It's not shooting related, but it is sort of a day in the life of Lee and what I get up to and what I like to do. Um, so we're just going down a hill into the woods, into our secret woods, um, which I cannot tell you the location of um, because we don't want it to be spoiled and everyone to run down and take half the woods away. So um, let's crack on, try not to fall down the hill and see how we get on. <laughs> what are you off to? <laughs> what? White deer. White deer. Ooh. Where is it? Oh, I can see it. Yeah, I've got it. Can't let me try and zoom in on it. Oh my God, if I fall, this won't be funny. We're getting up speed, we're getting up speed. Out of all our walks we do, this has to be my favorite. It's so pretty. Fancy a swim, Sam? No, I'm not, <laughs> Five if you jump in. There's gotta be frogs in there. Why don't you go and jump in and check it out? I'm all right, you go first, I'll follow. <laughs> first spot of the wild garlic. It's like a little blanket. I don't think I've ever seen that so full. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna get a trot as well. <laughs> Age before beauty. Mm. Go on, jump. Okay, I might follow suit there actually. I've got my wellies on and I'm worried about how I'm going to walk through. Let's see how... No, Oh, that's quite strong, actually. Please fall over. Is it Eck? That's the first leg done. There's my nice supportive friend waiting for me. <laughs> I know. We can stop in a minute for food. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> We are getting close to the little woodland. Whoa, bramble, caught. Oh, it's gonna fall, sorry. So I just grab a butt seat, it's fine. <laughs> we have arrived into the secret wood where all of the wild garlic is. It's very pretty and it's up there. If anyone is gonna go on the hunt for wild garlic and is gonna pick it, First of all, you need to know what you're picking so that you're not going to poison yourself. Um, Sam and I have picked wild garlic from this exact woods for five years. We know what we're picking and we know what we're looking for, but it does tend to grow near waterways. And it's got sunshine coming through. It's all banked up. It's just like the perfect place for it to grow. And already, we've got wild garlic. Hopefully it's longer up there. But when you pick it, it looks like this. You've got to smell it. It smells like garlic. This at the moment is like wading through treacle. I have got welly boots on um, because we had so much rain. Um, I didn't want to sink, um, but they are a little bit harder to walk four or five miles in. Um, I did just mention about the fact that if you're gonna pick it, you need to smell it and it should smell like garlic. That might sound really stupid to some people, but the strong is, the smell is so strong, like you will know. And also it has the little bulbs at the bottom. If it's gone to flower, it's a bit too late. And you should always only take what you're gonna consume and leave the rest of it for someone else or to let nature run its course, or however, however you want to say it. So it's a little bit rough underfoot, but it's so pretty up here. We did so much walking during lockdown, and this has to be one of my favorite walks. Oh, I normally almost headbutt that, that's come down. And we always stop for a bite to eat up here. And Sam's already, <laughs> he's laying down. <laughs> he's ready for his snacks. <laughs> <be great. laughs> 
Sam, how far have we walked so far? How far do you reckon? You're Three leaving. miles. <laughs> That's only because I told Three you. Three miles. Um, no. How far? I don't know. Hold on. Give me a chance. Uh, uh, 2.6. Oh, okay. I thought we'd gone further than that. And this is our little bougie picnic for snacks before we go foraging over there. That is where we tend to go. If I fall, are you going to help me down from this point? No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> On the hunt, Sam doesn't reckon that the garlic is long enough the other side. So let's go and look at our normal spot and see how it is. Oh Christ, this way it could all go bloody wrong. And oh, I can't your find it. I can't find it. Now I've got to get up there. I push, 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 push. Oh my God. Okay. I'm back to the spot. Cool. Do you reckon we're a bit early? Yeah, but like this, this plant you can harvest, can not you? Yeah, because that's long enough. Yeah. There's enough to do it. But it's much longer down here. It's just really a little bit... Late. It's late, isn't it? It's really short up there. Where your bags, then? Get my bags. Start picking. Woo! Definitely, definitely late. Do the sniff test, Sam. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it's a good vintage. <laughs> This year. Yeah. I think it is because normally it's like up here and there's still shoots coming through. But this is this is perfect now. This is pickable. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely. So we want the. Like, sometimes I think some years we're a little bit late and it's almost turning, almost going over. But this is like really fresh. Well, we were here a couple of years ago and it was um, flowering. Mm. So these ones are okay because they're really long. Good, yeah. But we don't want the little baby ones that are down here. We'd leave them. The tree bit you. <laughs> what a wally. Um, it's so wet, isn't it? <laughs> it's so wet. Never known it. So muddy here. I'm trying not to slide down there. So I don't really fancy going swimming. Here we find a rare species called Sam, who is indigenous to Dorset. He can be seen in the wild foraging for garlic in the early spring months. <laughs> Notice the ones on the bank are better than the flat. You could come back in two weeks and this should be perfect. Yeah. We're just hoping I'll pull down the- Get back in. <laughs> it's a little bit soggy under birth. Oh my god. I love having a camera. Oh shit. <laughs> Keep singing. And oh, we're twerking while we're picking now, are we? Yeah. Uh, that needs to be full up. I'm running out of uh, long ones. Okay, don't fall down there. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will make this um, tomorrow night. I need to go and get some rapeseed oil. I'm going to fall up it. And some lemons and some pine nuts. Oh, you put pine nuts. Do you put garlic? Oh. <laughs> I actually do put a couple of cloves of garlic. <laughs> I do put a couple of cloves of garlic. Uh, yeah, lemon juice, rapeseed oil and uh, pine nuts. And blitz it all together. We're on the move for longer stuff. I don't know what they are, yeah. Uh, no, I don't know what they are. are. What are they? They're like me, they're a fun guy. <laughs> Does anyone else get as fascinated by nature as I do? Look at those. They're all down here as well. Are you strapping both bags onto your rucksack? No, I'm not. But anyone. I feel like you need my bag on can the other any, side. Can anyone handle one strap even. on at a time? <laughs> I feel like... You'd be much more even. Harry, hey, look, this is your sack of garlic anyway. Oh, 
Oh yeah, no, you are carrying half of mine anyway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if anyone's good at identifying things, what is that? Right. Look at my, look at my hand. Oh my god! Have you just slipped all the way down? Yeah, it really hurts. Don't come down here. That's really slippy. Well, you're gonna catch me. Oh. Hang on, take my garlic, please. No. One, two, three. Take my no. garlic. I'll have it back in a minute. No. Go on then. Got, it. No, 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 because it's no, not done up. It. I'm not coming back. Oh, that was quite a good catch, actually. Come now on. catch me. Okay. It's really slippy. <laughs> it's really slippy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that field. Look at the state of it. And now, into the secret woods. I mean, you're quite a light little thing, but look at your footsteps. It's so wet. I do like that description. Light little thing. Yeah. <laughs> Speed wobble, that was. <laughs> oh my God. That is so soggy. Yeah, Under the... Wetter than an otter. <laughs> I am sliding. Oh, we're missing a fence. Oh, they, they've done a bit of cutting. They've cut back all of that bit there to the left. <laughs> Jesus Christ. To think this is a bridal path. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> the only thing about this walk is one of the last stretches back to the car involves a hill. And I don't like hills, especially on a Sunday. Hang on, I'm coming in a fashion. Caught. Oh God, I just, oh God, what is that? Okay, decided that the path was far too muddy and we were slipping everywhere. And so we've come into the woods, equally as steep, but it's a bit less muddy underfoot and here is the fallen tree that we would sit on in lockdown and have a cup of coffee on. You're going to me for picking all the bark off, it's not there now. Yeah, there's no bark left on it because you picked it all off. Days spent exploring are definitely the best. As a young child I was told not to go into the deep dark woods with um odd men um exhibit a <laughs> i'm just gonna say goodbye for now because if i continue filming any further you may be able to figure out where we are um and so i shall see you shortly in my kitchen to actually make the wild garlic pesto see you in a bit Good evening and welcome to my kitchen. Sam and I finished picking the wild garlic yesterday afternoon. It's been sat in my fridge. I've got everything prepared and ready. So let's quickly fly through how I make wild garlic pesto. Others may make it differently. I'm no pro, so let's give it a whirl. As you can see, I've got everything prepared and ready. Here is my ingredients list that I use. Those are the measurements that I'm meant to use. Um, as you'll see in a minute, I don't really weigh anything or measure. I just sort of, I've done this for so many years that I go with what I know. So let's get started. To start off with, I have got my 150 grams of washed wild garlic leaves. Haven't actually weighed it, to be honest. Um, I've done it for years, so I'm pretty sure that is about the right amount. I have got the juice of one lemon in there. I've got my garlic clove. I've got my pine nuts, which were £3.90 from Tesco's. Have no idea why they're so expensive. Well done, Tesco's. Um, rapeseed oil. I don't mind spending more on that um, because it is British, as you can see. That was £3.60. Happy to pay that for a British product. Um, and then I have got my parmesan um, here. 
and I am going to mix it all in that bowl. I don't use a Kenwood mix or anything like that because I don't like the faff from washing it up. So I have one of these old school ones which I make soup and all sorts with. And this end detaches, goes straight in the dishwasher, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and it's clean. When I say I don't measure, I mean I really don't measure. So pine nuts, I need 50 grams of pine nuts, that's 100 gram bag. Let's have half of them. I quite like nuts, so I don't mind if I put more in. Um, juice of the lemon, already measured out. I need 150 ml of this. This is a 500 ml bottle, so we are just gonna pour until I feel like I've used 150 ml. That'll do for a minute. Parmesan, 50 grams of Parmesan. This is a 100 gram bag, I'm pretty sure. That's 100 grams, so let's have half of that. That'll do there nicely, that'll do. And then let's blitz it all up together. And as I go on, I'll just add more and more and more leaves until I've got through all of them, nice and easy. I am not gonna bore you with the mixing, but this is pretty much how I do it. I just keep pushing it down like this until I need to add more leaves. And then I'll just add more and more leaves until I build up the pesto. So I'll be back in a minute to show you what it looks like. Right, so I think that's about done. I've used up all of the garlic, so my measurements were quite right. Um, so now it's time to move this into ice cube trays and I'll show you how I freeze it and how I pop it into the freezer so it lasts for months to come so that you can enjoy it on pasta and um, with any food that you want to add it to. I said about an ice cube tray and I wasn't joking, I've literally filled up an ice cube tray with the wild garlic pesto. I'm going to freeze that. Once they're frozen, I'm going to pop them into a freezer bag. They will keep for months. Um, I do like to eat quite a lot of garlic. I think it's really good for my immune system. I feel like I get less colds. Um, while my ice cube trays are taken up, this lot will go into a kilner jar in the fridge and it will keep for a few days. Um, and it's as easy as that. So I hope um, some of you give it a go um, and, you know, let me know how you get on in the comments. So I hope you've all enjoyed my slightly different video this time. Um, I know it's normally beating and shooting related, but I thought I'd just take you with me for a day and show you something that I get up to that's a little bit different. Um, so I hope you've all enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.